In this video, I'm going to show you how to add ACS guns in Roblox Studio. So the first thing you want to do, you want to open up Roblox Studio and open up a new experience. And then this is going to basically start loading in. There we go. And then what you should first do is you want to go to the view tab up here and you want to make sure you're seeing all these things over here. And what you want to click on is this little bit over here. When, when you hover over it, it says toolbox. So click on toolbox. And then in here, you want to look for uh, this button, which is the creator store. And you want to basically just search for ACS official. Okay, so do like ACS official. There we go. And then you press enter. And it's going to give you a bunch of different things over here. Now, as you can see, there's ACS. These are the guns. And over here, there's going to be a bunch of different ones. So there's like 2.1 or 2.0.1, 1.7, 2.0.1 again. There's a bunch of different versions. And it's completely up to you which one you use. Of course, I'm going to just use a random one for this tutorial. But of course, you can use a different one if you want to. Now, always look at the kind of the satisfaction ratio over here, which will kind of tell you which are the best. So I'm just going to go for this one which actually has a green uh, kind of thumbs up button over here with an 86% satisfaction so click on that the one you want to and then over here you simply want to click on OK and over here it now got added onto your list on the right so you can see it over here it's basically here you can just extend it by clicking this arrow and there's a bunch of different things in here the first thing you want to do is if you extend these things you'll see you're going to have to ungroup them. And if you don't know how to do this, it's actually very simple. So first, let me actually show you if I now were to zoom out in here, you'll be able to see there we go. Those are the guns kind of scattered around. They're just uh, like moving around the map. They're basically everywhere. So yeah, these are the things we're going to be able to then use. So what you have to do now is we're going to have to ungroup these things. Now, the first one in this side, this little folder over here says ACS footstep uh, SYS, extend this, and it says ungroup in the sound service. Extend this one as well, and basically drag this, and you want to ungroup it inside sound service. So if you look down here, there's going to say sound service at the bottom. Just drag and release in here, and it's now in here. There we go. Then you want to go to the next one. It says ungroup in starter player scripts. You want to take this one look for starter player script. So starter player, and then in here, starter player script. There we go. And then you want to go up here, and it's going to give you the second bit over here, which is actually the NVG edit ungroup in server script service. So take this ungroup it in server script service, where it is server script service, there we go, ungroup it in there. And then you want to go ahead and leave the tools as they are over here because we're going to do that at the very end. And then you want to ungroup in replicated storage. Look for that. Look for replicated storage. Where is it? There we go. Then you want to look for uh, ungroup in server script service again. So go to server script service yet again. Where is it? Server script. There we go. Server script service. And then you want to look for this one, which is in uh, starter character scripts. There we go starter character scripts okay and then by the way for you it may be a different so if it's a bit different for you make sure you just basically ungroup in wherever it says so here it's going to be starter player scripts you have to go down here starter player and then there we go is it going to allow me there we go starter player scripts and then the last one is going to be ungrouped in workspace. So this one just has to be ungrouped inside the workspace, which is up top. So just drag it inside the workspace and you're good to go. Now, that is the first thing you had to do. After you do that, basically, you then want to go to tools in here. And then these tools are all the different guns and stuff like that available. So you want to go ahead, click on the first one, hold on your shift key on your keyboard, click on the last one, and then kind of drag it over here from the left hand side. So basically, you just want to take it down here to where you can see starter pack. So go ahead, release that inside the starter pack. There we go. And then we are pretty much done. So what you should do now is we first have to, of course, save this game. So you want to go to home game settings. And you want to save this to Roblox, you can give it a name, I'm going to name it guns for this instance, I'm just going to leave this as it is right now for this video, press save, and then you have to wait for a bit for this to actually save, it's going to essentially, there we go, it says successfully saved, you might find, find this place inside guns, and then once you do that, this is going to open up, there we go. And then as you can see over here, there should be 
all the different things in here. So the starter pack, etc. And then once you do that, you can just go ahead and start playing and then you should be able to have all the guns in there. So if I go ahead and hit on the play button over here, as you can see, everything is now in my inventory down here at the bottom. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you add it in here. Now, this is, of course, very basic. That's just how you add it in. If you want to actually use it together with something else, it's going to require, of course, more work to be done. Now, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.